Hi, I'm Mr. History, and welcome to another exciting season of the amazing History Day race. I'm here with my co-host, Mooster History. Hi, dude. And we're helping our competitors get ready for National History Day 2016. Let's say hello to today's team, the Research Renegades. <laughs> The theme for this year's race is exploration, encounter, exchange, and history. Now let's go to Jill to cover a few definitions. Thanks, Mr. History. Let's take a closer look at three important words in this year's theme. Exploration means seeking something. People explore more than just places. They explore ideas, science, art, and more. Encounter is a coming together of two or more things, ideas, or people. Encounters can be positive, or negative. Exchange is to give and receive. You can exchange things you can't see, like ideas, or things you can see, like people, money, or objects. You don't have to talk about all three theme words in your History Day project, but if you do find a connection, don't ignore it. Make sure to talk about it in your project. In the mid-1800s, a potato disease struck Ireland leading the Irish to encounter starvation, disease, and death. The Irish had to explore new options for survival, like immigrating to the United States. The political, social, and cultural impact the Irish immigrants had was a result of their exchanges with other people living here. Thanks, Jill. And with that, let's take a look at your first challenge. Our first challenge is a detour we have to decide which direction to take our topic. That's easy. The word exploration means our topic should be a famous explorer, like Lewis and Clark. I'm not so sure about that. Jill said exploration means more than just exploring places. Our topic could relate to exploring an idea, like Jonas Salk and the invention of the polio vaccine. That's right. This year's theme is about more than geography. Be creative. Think about social issues, art, sports, politics, medicine, or technology. The most important thing is that you are interested in your topic. I'm interested in civil rights. Maybe we could research the Freedom Riders. They led protests for civil rights by riding segregated buses in the South. There might be some exploration, encounter, exchange in that topic. Great, now that you have a topic, you're ready for your second challenge. Uh-oh. It's a research robot challenge. Oh, wow. Research is a critical part of History Day. It is important to learn more about your topic before you start thinking about your theme connection. Time to go to the library. Okay, now that we know more about our topic, I think it's time to think about our theme connection. Let's start by looking for our main theme word. This will be like the lead actor in our project. With the Freedom Riders, I think the most important idea is the encounter the protesters had as they rode buses through the South. They were trying to show the segregation was illegal, but no one was doing anything about it. That's great. I think that we can connect to the other theme words too. The exchanges that took place during the rides would work. The Freedom Riders faced violence and were put in jail, even though they weren't doing anything wrong. For exploration, I guess the buses explored the South as they traveled, but that feels a little weak. Like we're just using the word explore. Let's focus on how the protesters explored the idea of nonviolent protests as a way to create change. We can talk about all three theme words in our project, but the last two will be the supporting actors in our story. We may not talk about them as much, but that's okay. Congratulations! You've overcome the research roadblock and completed the second challenge. It sounds like you've made a meaningful connection to the theme. You did more than just use the theme words. You connected them to the ideas of your topic. Your next challenge is to incorporate the theme into your thesis. This is the one we've been dreading. It won't be so bad. Just take it one step at a time. A strong thesis has some key characteristics. It's specific. It explains the significance of your topic in history. It goes beyond just stating a fact, and it connects to the History Day theme. 
you should definitely get at least one theme word into your thesis. You don't have to force all three if they don't fit. You can talk about all three in the project itself. Now let's take a look at your latest draft. In the summer of 1961, protesters rode public buses into the South hoping to initiate encounters with segregationists. Through the violent exchanges that followed, the Freedom Riders brought about the enforcement of Supreme Court decisions that banned segregation on interstate transportation and inspired others to fight for civil rights. This is great. It's specific. It talks about significance. It goes beyond just stating a fact and it connects to the theme. The Amazing History Day race is almost complete. Only one more challenge remains. And for this one, you're going to need some supplies. Creating, Creating our, our project. project. Wait, I think this is a trick. We can't start building until we have a plan. That's right, another roadblock. You shouldn't put together any History Day project until you have a plan. What are we gonna talk about in each section? Where do we talk about the theme? If the Freedom Riders are the heart of our thesis and project, we should put that in the middle under main event. The background needs to be our historical context about the Civil Rights Movement and how it fits into the bigger picture. The viewer needs to know what happened right before the rides. What made them decide to take action? That's the buildup. Let's talk about right after the Freedom Rides. Short-term impact could be about how people responded to the protest, both positive and negative. For long-term impact, we should think about what happened long after the rides. We need to take a step back and connect the Freedom Rides to the Civil Rights Movement in general. But what about the theme connection? Where does that go? There is no magic formula where you talk about exploration, encounter, or exchange in your project. The trick is to make the connections where they make the most sense for your topic. Well, exploration could go in the buildup when we talk about how protesters were exploring the use of nonviolent protests. Encounter would fit in the main event because that's where we talk about the interactions between the protesters and the citizens who opposed them. Exchange could fit into the main event too since violence is what happened because of the encounter. But it also might work in short-term impact when we talk about what happened right away after the rides. Good thinking. You now have a plan to weave your theme connections throughout your project, not just add them on at the end as an afterthought. Well, Mooster History, it's the moment of truth. How well do you think our contestants have done? I think they did great.